The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the letter to the Hebrews. So, since the law contains no more than a reflection of the good things which were still to come, and no true image of them, it is quite incapable of bringing the worshipers to perfection by means of the same sacrifices repeatedly offered year after year. Otherwise, surely the offering of them would have stopped because the worshipers, when they had been purified once, would have no awareness of sins. But in fact, the sins are recalled year after year in the sacrifices. Bull's blood and goat's blood are incapable of taking away sins. And this is why he said on coming into the world, you wanted no sacrifice or cereal offering, but you gave me a body. You took no pleasure in burnt offering or sacrifice for sin. Then I said, here I am, I am coming. In the scroll of the book it is written of me to do your will, God. He says, first, you did not want what the law lays down as the things to be offered. That is the sacrifices, the cereal offerings, the burnt offerings, and the sacrifices for sin. And you took no pleasure in them. And then he says, here I am. I am coming to do your will. He is abolishing the first sort to establish the second. And this will was for us to be made holy by the offering of the body of Jesus Christ, made once and for all. And our response is taken from Psalm 40. He pulled me up from the seething chasm, from the mud of the mire. He set my feet on rock and made my footsteps firm. How blessed are those who put their trust in Yahweh, who have not sided with rebels and those who have gone astray in falsehood. Then I said, here I am, I am coming. In the scroll of the book it is written of me, my delight is to do your will. Your law, my God, is deep in my heart. I have not kept your saving justice locked in the depths of my heart, but have spoken of your constancy and saving help. I've made no secret of your faithful and steadfast love in the great assembly. You, Yahweh, have not withheld your tenderness from me. Your faithful and steadfast love will always guard me. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Mark. Now his mother and his brothers arrived, and standing outside, sent in a message asking for him. A crowd was sitting round him at the time the message was passed to him. Look, your mother and brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. Jesus replied, Who are my mother? and my brothers. And looking at those sitting in a circle around him, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. Anyone who does the will of God, that person is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord.